we want to just go over some um, ideology, some theory behind uh, the double leg position, making sure your back, your head is in the right spot, the right position. And now whether you're against a cage or down in space, kind of really the same thing. You kind of want to be in the same position. If your head's down too low, they rock up a guillotine, are they able to get those nasty elbow strikes that people have been hitting against the cage uh, recently? Uh, all that is due to your body not being a, a good enough, a, 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 the best position possible for the double leg. So for a traditional double leg, we want our head up, our back straight, and we're inside. See how my head is up? Hard for me to get punched here. Hard for me to get elbow here. Easy for me to drive in, use my head to drive in to try and get the finish. We see a lot of guys get elbowed because their head's too low. They're bending at their waist and their knees are straight. So they're in a, a good position here, they're down here. And they end up needing those elbows. Yeah, I don't like those elbows. Those aren't good for me. I don't, I don't want no part of those elbows. But you can simply change the position just to have your head down of having your head up here. And it's the same thing out in space, like a, a singlet wrestling. We're here, I hit a double leg. I want my double leg to be here. I want my head down, all oh, my hips hinged. I'm gonna be here, head up, head almost on his lap, back straight, hips inside. So I just really wanted to go over because it it's very important for whether you're against the cage or whether you're out in space, especially with MMA, getting choked, getting elbows to the head. Uh, very important uh, to talk about that and to go over that to make sure that you guys don't get stuck in that position.